morning dear students today we are going to start a very interesting novel of your syllabus which is the old man and the sea this novel has been written by ernest hemingway in 1953 and it became so famous when it was published that it received pulitzer prize in literature in 1953 and though the writer of this novel also earned the nobel prize in literature in 1954 this novel is a story of an old fisherman who was considered um, unlucky in his village for he couldn't catch any fish for 84 days and because he was old and alone it was nearly impossible for him to catch any fish but that was the strain of his fate and it was exactly the blemish that he wanted to counter that he wanted to fade from his destiny that is why he ventured out he took a decision and um, the way uh, he goes out into the sea to fulfill his dream of catching so big a fish So the story is basically a story of keeping one's self pride it's a story of retaining one's self respect it's a story of courage and uh, endurance to show that a man can be destroyed but cannot be defeated so dear students i'm not going to uh, tell you the whole story or even the summary of uh, this novel that how it takes place this is for us to study and to enjoy and to get us familiarized with different concepts of the novel and settings the where it takes place so first have a look at the writer he won nobel prize in literature but uh, he is also famous for his depiction of code heroes in his story if you refer to the novels written by a novel uh, written by the writers such as farewell to arms uh, for whom the bell tools and the uh, currents of spring and a mo- uh, immovable feast so in all of these novels he represents his protagonist as a code hero who possesses certain qualities he shows a uh, high height and degree of endurance and the coping capacities against the odds against unfavorable circumstances so that is why hemingway is famous for depiction of his code heroes as a hero of his novel because they do not yield they do not know how to give up against odds or circumstances and they show unbelievable and extraordinary power courage and endurance he belonged to a wealthy class of chicago after finishing his education The writer worked as an ambulance driver during First World War. He visited Italy. He rendered his services for Italy, and he observed the Italian culture, history, tradition, and that is why his, uh, you know, his last novel, A Farewell to Arms, represents his experience as it encounters a tale that is based on Italian warfare. Similarly, his novel that received world fame and accolade that was known as For Whom the Bell Tolls. Uh, represents his uh, experience of warfare about Spain. Well, we put his novel The Old Man in the Sea in comparison with his novel that has been written in war background. It seems a stark difference, but the difference is clear because the old man that has been presented in his last novel, The Old Man in the Sea, possesses the same endurance abilities and capabilities that his other uh, code heroes in the warfare have depicted. So that is why we say that even written in ordinary setting and ordinary background, that are totally in contrast to warfare and um, his novel carrying lofty. and major things still the old man santiago is considered as one of the code heroes of hemingway and that is why he received pulitzer prize in 1953 now coming to the setting of this novel this novel is being set up in cuba cuba has a capital havana a quite known and renowned city of the world which is generally known for for its coastlines so cuba you can find it on the world map in north america and this is a country that boasts of having the largest archipelagos in the world what is an archipelago archipelago dear students is a is an area that is considered uh, and known because of its vast coastlines and the number of islands so cuba has the one of the largest island of the world it that is why this is quite famous among the tourists and it is a wonderful tourist destination because having so many of islands 
So Cuban island has a specific, specific quality because uh, uh, Cuba exists at a point uh, which is the center to the conjunction of Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Ocean and it has Gulf Stream in it. Gulf Stream is the area which is considered the, the richest area which is considered as the richest part of the ocean because two major oceans Caribbean and Atlantic Oceans combine over here. Why so Gulf Stream is specific in this novel because this is the part of the ocean that old man chooses to venture out and it depicts that uh, as a code hero this is the right decision made by him because uh, you can not expect anything sublime from a code hero. So he always goes for lofty themes and he always go goes for lofty ideas that uh, none other could ever exist or could think of. Uh, now, this interesting novel has been uh, dramatized multiple times. It has uh, multiple screen adaptations. So if you have time and internet connection, so you should definitely go and watch the dramatization of this novel on YouTube. This would help you um, one in um, your um, in, for developing your interest of the novel and secondly because uh, it will help you for a better understanding of the novel and its plot. Now question arises that why Ernest Hemingway chose Cuba, uh, Cuba for the setting of this novel. This is because he was inspired by Cuba, Cuban culture, its tradition, its custom and its art form because he spent nearly a decade of his life in Cuba. He was interested in coastlines and oceans and because this is a favorite spot for tourists. That is why um, his first trip in 1912 was a result of his progressive and successive results to Cuba. And he went for fishing in Cuban island and Gulf Stream. That is why he enumerates and, you know, depicts his experience. His vocabulary and diction used in this novel, it actually corroborates to his experience that he had in Cuba. And uh, the way Hemingway brought fame to Cuba by writing his world famous novel was also recognized by Cub uh, Cuban people as well. Because in Cuba, the place, the village, uh, Kojimar, where Ernest Hemingway spent most of his time in a hotel, hotel which was named as uh, Hotel Denomerezo, is being considered, uh, arranged, and uh, preserved as a museum, where generally the manuscripts and uh, things that have been used by Ernest Hemingway have been preserved for tourists to witness. And similarly, the Cuban people have installed the dummies and uh, the books of Ernest Hemingway in all over Cuba, particularly in Kojimar and particularly in uh, the pub that Hemingway has represented in the novel as Taras, which is known as Letteras in Cuba. In its safe place, safe, untouched and intact for people to view that Hemingway wrote about this country and its culture. Now question arises that uh, what were the inspirations of Hemingway behind writing the character of Santiago? There are numerous point of views about it. Sometimes people say that this novel is being written as an inspiration from and of Gregorio Fuentes, who was a companion of Hemingway and their companionship and long-term relationship and friendliness with each other is definitely undeniable. He was the man who accompanied Hemingway during his ventures in the Second World War when he, uh, you know, uh, he offered, when Hemingway offered his boat, whose name was The Pillars, as for collecting demonations for the war and also because he was his companion during fishing in the Gulf Stream and he has the same physical appearance that Hemingway has described of Santiago. He's similarly weak, thin and old and that he has the similar blue eyes that has been a characteristic feature of Santiago in the novel. That is why certain people claim that Hemingway had his inspiration for writing Santiago's character because of Gregorio Fuentes. But some other people believe that it was basically Carlos 
Guterres who served as an inspiration for Santiago's character because he was the fisherman who went on fishing for 40 years in the Gulf Stream and he was the one who taught Hemingway the true art of fishing and uh, and he gave him all the skills related to fishes so that's where some people represent that this might be Carlos that is the actual depiction of Santiago's character but a very interesting thing Uh, to mention here is that some critics claim that Santiago is in fact Hemingway himself. This is because after writing his successful novels such as Farewell to Arms and For Whom the Bell Tolls, for nearly ten years Hemingway couldn't write a single a literary piece of writing that could bring him the fame. Even his last novel, Across the River into the Trees, was a disaster, and people started believing that uh, Hemingway has run short of ideas and that he has nothing more to write about, and he lacks productive ideas of a storyline at all. So these were the circumstances that led Hemingway into uh, desperation and depression as well. If we analyze Santiago's character, we see that he went without catching a fish for eight, four days, and that people of his village started calling him unlucky because he was unable to catch any single fish, and that his growing age and his loneliness even doesn't allow him to remove that blemish from his life. So. Uh, this is uh, Hemingway without writing a story for ten years is equivalent to Santiago without catching a fish for eighty four days. That is why it is said that when Santiago ventured out to prove himself, to prove his worth and retain his self respect, is actually the struggle, adventure, and uh, venture uh, venturing out of Hemingway to prove to people that even after a decay. even after a long break of 10 years he is able to produce a literary masterpiece of his time and he truthfully won the nobel prize for literature for this that is why this would be uh, true to say that in santiago's character we could find a glimpse of uh, hemingway himself Uh, when you start reading a novel the very first thing to know and understand about it that you should quite be aware of the term and the genre of literature that you are going to study so the first question that should arise in your mind is what is a novel but a novel is an uh, extended story with lots of characters and uh, numerous encounters incidents and lots of settings which are otherwise not possible to document either in a short story or in a play because a short story is short it doesn't give you enough margin to document such a number of incidents and uh, narration so novel is a long story and because it has lots of different situations and settings and places it's quite wide that is why these incidents are nearly impossible to present on the stage in a form of a play So here comes the different genre of literature that we call as a novel. So I repeat that novel is a long story which is elaborative in narration. It has capacity to encapsulate lots of characters, dialogues, incidents, situations and settings. So when you start reading reading this novel as per to examination view point so there are certain things that you need to keep in mind the very first thing is the setting you will ask yourself what is the setting of this novel so this novel is been set in the island in the coastline of cuba so you are going to have multiple views of the coastline life and the people and the marine life and the features which are largely associated with the ocean second thing you are going to ask yourself is the plot plot refers to the story that what is the story and how has writers knitted it and what are the themes that are linked with it and how story progresses you will also look at characters a novel comprises of certain characters you may call them as major and minor characters major characters are those which play a direct link in progression of the story whose actions build up the story and there are uh, minor characters who are not uh, actually directly related to the story but somehow they play a part in progression of the story and whose actions do not directly affect the plot of the novel 
then you will also discuss the theme of the novel it is not necessary that a novel deals with a single theme or a central point that writer wants to address there could be multiple and numerous themes that you have to explore during your span of reading the novel another thing that you are going to uh, observe is the symbols symbol is uh, an idea that is being represented through the uses of imagery through the usage of images that writer wants to employ so in this novel uh, sometimes it is said though it was once asked about uh, Heming uh, as to Hemingway that uh, do you think that this novel has lots of imagery and symbolism but Hemingway refused he said uh, this novel has no symbolism in it it's simple the ocean is ocean the old man is an old man the story is a simple story but critics and people when they read the novel they said that there are symbols that have been used in this novel and everything stands for air for a lofty idea so uh, during our study we are to explore those symbols and we are to give these symbols the names we are to identify the ideas for which those symbols stands for this is what i will teach you and that you will practice yourself during our study Another thing that you are going to observe is what is the point of view of this novel. So you will say this novel has been written by omniscient narrator. We say that omniscient narrator is actually the writer who gives his description of the events and uh, who tells, describes the emotions and characters of this novel objectively without presenting himself. He describes the situations and the scenes the way they are. The tone of this novel could be monotonous and uh, uh, the writer in this way gives us a glimpse of the thoughts and reflection of the novel so that's why the tone sometimes become monotonous because we see that old man is thinking and uh, he's thinking and he's dreaming so we see this novel through the eyes of the old man and uh, the writer in fact takes us into the you know consciousness of the protagonist of this novel which is Santiago you will also notice the language and style of this novel the language we say is ordinary and commonplace but it suits to the theme of the novel because this relates with the coastline life and it mentions the account of the life at the ocean and the people presented in this novel are generally the fishermen therefore they use a dialect and their language equipment diction and vocabulary of this novel actually relates to sea life so you will not only uh, enhance your vocabulary by knowing different words about sea life and also you will get to have an idea of uh, the lifestyle and the way the people living in the coastline areas uh, you know uh, manage their resources and livelihood so we you will have to know a great deal you'll get to know a great deal about the sea life and also it tells that writer who spent uh, nearly a decade of his life uh, in cuba he has truly you know exasperated his language skills in exploring uh, you know the contents of this area and uh, how this uh, area is quite famous about its coastlines and seashores let us see the main characters of this novel i will just give you a hint of the main characters we uh, i won't touch the minor character this is what you are going to tell me when we start reading of this novel the very first is the code hero the protagonist of the novel protagonist is um, the synonym of code hero a person who possesses certain qualities that uh, make him appear larger than other person because he has certain capabilities and skills that make him prominent than others and he shows his endurance power this is santiago the main character the dedicated fisherman who taught manolin everything he knows about fishing and Manolin is a boy who had been a companion of Santiago and in this novel you are going to see a quite a lovely and affectionate bond not only of teacher and student in the form of Santiago and Manolin but also a bond of uh, that would be much like uh, like like than the bond of uh, a father and a son so as you read the novel you will get to know how much old man misses the manolin and you will also think that if manolin had been without 
had been with uh, Santiago, would the story have been a little bit different or it would have been remained the same? So you, you are going to say this. Another important, uh, quite significant character of the novel is Amalin, an 18 feet uh, fish that was a dream fish of Santiago that he wanted to catch. So you will also know the character sketch of Marlin and what characteristics and qualities it has to offer in this story. Definitely, if the sea is here and if you are going to read about fish, so how can you overlook sharks, which are an important part of the novel? So you will definitely read about the scavenger sharks and what are, were the challenges that they offer to Santiago. And a very important thing that you are going to discuss is the sea in itself as a character. You can't ignore because you are going to read a story that is about the sea and its life. That's about all the services that are being offered by the sea and all the cruelties that sea puts forth. Therefore, you will see also you will also witness and observe the sea as a character in the story so this is all for today's class in next class we'll start reading this novel and i hope you guys are going to enjoy reading of this novel a lot see you tomorrow take very good care of yourself allah hafiz